Brittany Spencer is joining us now from Nashville. Brittany, thanks so much for, for being here. Congratulations on your journey, first of all. Uh, I want to just talk first about sort of representation in the country music industry, because people of color still represent a pretty small minority uh, of the country artists, country stars that are out there and that are getting airplay. So, so why did you want to pursue a career in country music? Because it was my childhood dream to do so. Uh, I always wanted to be able to write the stories that I'm singing now and be able to sing them and I don't know, find ways to connect with people. And so for me, that's where it starts. Um, I think I've always known that it would be a challenge because of what I look like. Um, and I don't know that I've always had the courage to face that challenge, but I just think honestly, my childhood dream was strong enough to kind of keep pushing me in this direction. And thankfully we're in a time where there's so many of us just kind of bombarding this this incredible scene, you know, of country music and and we're making a difference, even though I think many of us probably aren't even really trying to. We just want to sing our songs, but we're here and uh, and we're making a difference. And that makes me really happy and really hopeful. And what are some of those challenges that you've uh, had to endure that maybe other country artists wouldn't have had to if they weren't a woman of, a woman of color? I mean, it's honestly, it's much similar to any space where you are the minority. You know, it just, it means that sometimes you're not always talking the same language. It means sometimes you have a different set of needs that uh, your counterparts might not always have. Um, it means what you're doing is different. And uh, and what we're doing is different. I think what I'm doing is, is different. Um, and like I said, I'm not setting out to be different, but just by nature, I am. I think that as we continue to have this this type of dialogue like we're having right now, I think people are starting to understand um, what it is that sometimes we need that other people might not need. I mean, and honestly, it ranges from so many different things. It can range from the style of songs that I'll be presenting um, because I am black and, and I did grow up on black music in addition to country music. Um, it could also be just what we need in terms of like even hair and makeup or wardrobe or whatever. It's, it's a different set of uh, needs that sometimes we have. And sometimes those things aren't always available here in this city or within this industry. We kind of have to outsource sometimes. Um, and so it just takes some time. You know, when you're at the beginning of a thing, it just takes time to to really make it known, hey, this is what we'll need from now on. And it's not just for me because there's a whole bunch of us. And so it's um, it's, just, it's a unique process. But I mean, honestly, this is this is the beginning of something really beautiful. And it's just a lot of work as with anything when you're in the beginning of something. Do you feel like, Brittany, that the industry uh, and I mean, I want to talk artists in the industry, but also fans, too, are supporting you in the way that they should. Um, I know just, you know, one artist, Maren Morris, of course, she has given you a shout out. She she seems to be a fan. But do you think sort of more broadly, the industry and, and fans are, are supporting you and understanding of some of those extra uh, hurdles that you have to go through? Yeah, I think that I have felt a lot of industry support. Uh, if I'm honest, I have felt a lot of support. Um, and I felt a lot of support from fans, from people who have been waiting for this, this, this weird conglomerate of music that I that I do and put out that's rooted in country music. Uh, so I do feel the support. I think that what I'm always championing is for people who support me to support what I think is honestly a movement. I think I think there is a movement happening in the industry. I think it's, yeah, I think there's a huge shift in the industry and I think that people make mistakes and I think that people are figuring it out and sometimes they don't and sometimes they do. But I do see from from different parts of the industry where people are really trying. There's still a lot of people who are still adjusting, but I think that the industry can't be swayed by that. You have to keep going. You have to persist because history tells us that when you continue to do that, you end up on the right side of history. You know, you end up, this is the history making thing, you know, when the industry persisted and prevailed, you know, it's going to, it's going to take some time, uh, but we can't cave just because there's still some people not on board. We, we have to keep going. And uh, that's my hope. That's what I hope we continue to do this year. What's your hope for the rest of the year and for the progression that country music is hopefully going to see? Absolutely. I, um, 
I mean, for me personally, I'm excited. I, I look forward to being on the road so much this year. I look forward to putting out new music. I look forward to finding more of my people because that's all I ever want to do. I just I just want to find my people, the people who want to hear my music and connect with it. And we can kind of journey through all the things together, you know, in a in a room while I'm on a stage. That's my dream. Um, in the broader scope of country music, I hope to hear more women on the radio. I hope to hear uh, more black artists, more artists of color getting record deals. I hope to hear about, um, I hope to hear more people of color on the radio. I, I have high hopes. I really do think that there's so much good music coming out right now from new artists. And I, I want to hear the industry embrace it, you know, more in the beginning. You know, I, I would love to hear that happen where we're not always late bloomers to really good things because there's some really good music out right now and I plan to put out some really good music. And so I'm just, I'm excited. Well, can't wait to hear your new music, Brittany, and really excited for you to be back touring again and for all of us, hopefully, to get out there to concerts as well. Brittany Spencer, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate you. Hey, thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, documentaries, interviews, deep dives, and shows on the stories that you care most about.